2 1 Edberg. Davis Cup Classic. Back with that distinctive rock in his serve. He's got that rock, and, and what he does is with it is it's, it's tough to return and get a rhythm because you never know when he's going to bring it. It's like you wait, you wait. But Edberg understands that rock having played him so many times. You'll see Stefan move his player's career is intersecting so frequently. 87 88 Becker in a bit of a funk watched Edberg and Lendl move past him. But by 89 Becker was back in form. You know he reconditioned himself to or he re committed himself to conditioning. Gets out to the track, works out frequently at the Munich Olympic Stadium. Over there in the track, I trained with him in Stuttgart before the Grand Slam Cup. It's not only track work, but he gets he gets up early. He's on the treadmill. He's lifting weights. Hired some former Olympians and golden that people wanted to be on be on his bus. To the corner. That is such a tough pickup. That's the meat and potatoes play where you serve wide. Stretching the, your opponent off the court. There's Edberg way off the court. And Becker, the half volley deep in the court. Corner. Perfect shot. Becker also credited Coach Bob Brett for helping put some finishing touches on his career. Oh. Now Bob Brett might not be the best that was taking out a ball boy, <laughs> but he's all about conditioning. Number one wakes up in the morning, runs an hour and a half himself. He likes to run his marathons between tournaments. It's a great serve, but a risky serve to Becker's backhand. This court is really playing quick. In a carpet court, it's going to play a lot like grass, but a little bit more consistent bounce. Boom, boom with the serve. You can almost hear the the sound of a cannon going off when he serves serves the flat one. Rarely bashful on the second serve as well. Dump that volley. That's what you call a lazy yes, volley. Then get his weight yeah. behind it, one step slow. It's one of the things Becker has been commented. You look at the stat sheet. You know he has great statistics, but he has to dive for balls because maybe. Game Becker. Two all for set. This match is going to get interesting. 3-3, three, three, that pivotal seventh game. It's going to be difficult to break serve early. And as Boris comes out and takes some chances, both servers want to hold easy games, allowing themselves to go for it a little bit more on the return side. Boris with a chance making his pass over the high part of the net which is very low percentage but it was the open shot just didn't make it. There's the boom of boom boom crushing the pass. The serve Becker's four inside barely gets to it, but that's all he needed to do because he's going to set up and crank it cross court. Impossible to make that volley when there's that much speed and power laid into it. 15 all. <laughs> you can almost see the defensive move by Edberg. Get out of the way. Yeah, Edberg made a stab at it. And when he saw, here's the serve. Nice first serve wide. Becker gets it back, but he sees he coughed it up and get out of here. Or his aim for his buddy of many years, Stefan. Well, anything goes in the Davis Cup final. Reached out. Can't do much with that. That's what Forrest Becker's looking for. It's two all. He's hitting big shots. He looks like he's in his groove. 
One shot, two shots, and he finds it with the inside out. It's an inside out spinner he threw at to finish that point. Very difficult to hit. Break chances. We'll have to wait for at least another point. Edberg serving wide. The reason these players will use their right hand wings to serve slice serves is to use the court to take the ball away. Let the ball slide out. Let the court take it. Stefan having trouble with his range. That was ne nearly six feet out. Double faults and the break to Becker. First break in this Davis Cup Classic. Boris on top, 3 2 in the serves. These players aren't in a position to swing at returns. They're really blocking it and playing for the next shot. There he was trying to block it, but he caught it a little late. He was decelerating his racket, racket swing rather than accelerating his shot. Becker looking good. There's a let court serve. It's really interesting about both of these players. As we said, they grew up playing so many matches, but there's so much pride in these countries with their tennis. Great history with Stefan Edberg, Bjorn Borg, Mats Wielander, Becker. He is German tennis, the king of German tennis. So there's always a packed house, especially for Davis Cup. And every player feels responsibility representing one's country. But Becker, in the mid-90s, looking back, said he really felt the weight of his nation every time he took the court. Absolutely. There was a time they said he could run for prime minister of Germany it, had he chose to do that. And he actually told me that for him to become the president or prime minister, he would have had to have gone to sport, become the minister of sport, and then he would have been in a position to become elected president. Also would have been a major pay cut. Yeah, probably. But Boris always handled there's there is Ted Tingling the fashion guru taking a nap at this Davis <laughs> Cup epic match well Ted seen it all ah! Ted's designed all the the women's tennis lines back in the day for Tracy Austin Billie Jean King around very fashionable tennis man there back to Becker Serving up the big ones. Another big one. Stuttgart, Germany has a lot of tennis fans having the clay court championships in the summertime on the ATP tour, as well as the indoor championships. And now with Davis Cup, this has got to be the hottest ticket in town. This was the second rubber. Mats Wielander defeated Carl Uwe Steeb to give Sweden a one love advantage. Best of five in Davis Cup play. Four singles, one doubles competition. That is an amazing second serve. Boris Becker. It's not just a wide serve. Edberg thinks it's wide, but clearly. We should get another look at it. At it. Here's Boris serving with the windup. The reason it was such an amazing serve, it landed so short. Oh, and it's out with the replay. Clearly why. From where we're sitting, that's what's so great about the replay. So you get a chance to get another look at it but too bad for Stefan you can't overrule something like that and Boris being the friend he is he can't give it to him when 
the Davis Cup is on the line. And Bruno, the famous French umpire, 